Cash flaunted on social media. A tray of gold on display during a Somali wedding in the Twin Cities. All of a sudden there was a boom and people were buying very expensive homes and posting about those homes. Where was all the money coming from? A member of the Somali community in the Twin Cities believes he knew about what could be one of the largest meals program fraud in state history before it surfaced earlier this year. Despite community pushback, he's telling his story. Everybody knew, but nobody had the courage to speak about it because they understood the repercussions. So I decided to speak out. Abdi Azmin Nur is a well-known activist in the Somali community, both in Minnesota and Africa. In COVID, it was a bad time because people in the Somali community lost their jobs. Most of them were just home and struggling. It was a very tight economic situation. People started showing off cars, money, and expensive equipment on Facebook and Snapchat. His skepticism heightened. Shortly after schools shut down in 2020, the government loosened guidelines on meal sites to help kids. The USDA allowed school meals to be bundled in multi-day packs and consumed off-site. It also allowed restaurants to participate as meal sites or vendors. At the same time, to limit the spread of COVID, inspections of meal sites were reduced. The Minnesota Department of Education oversees school meals as well as nonprofit groups, including Feeding Our Future, which is now at the center of a federal investigation. In late January, the FBI raided 14 properties linked to the nonprofit. FBI search warrants alleged the nonprofit and several food sites it worked with misspent millions of federal dollars to purchase real estate, cars, and other luxury items. And then as it got worse, I saw that the food they were giving. They started not paying attention to it. It was being left in the streets and not being distributed properly. Court documents say one feeding our future meal site, Safari Restaurant, claimed to have served 5,000 children a day in July 2020. Bank records show the business owners used federal dollars to purchase this multi-million dollar building and this million dollar home. The investigation revealed Feeding Our Future Executive Director Amy Bach received a large sum of money derived from federal child nutrition program funds. Bach then deposited the check into a personal account held by her and her ex-husband. Alpha News reached out to Amy Bach but did not hear back. The people in there told us Amy knew everything step by step. She just wanted it to be hush-hush. According to MDE records, in October of 2021, Feeding Our Future claimed to have served more than 50,000 meals out of this small one-story building in South Minneapolis. The search warrant says the FBI surveilled the outside and found minimal activity. But you need a fair amount of real estate to do that because you have to be able to accommodate multiple cars, multiple staff members, um, bringing stuff to cars, loading cars up. You know, again, someone keeping records of everything. Joshua Borenstein works at a private school in St. Louis Park and knows firsthand how the meals program works. The school handed about 300 meals a day during the start of the pandemic. Assuming the allegations are correct, um, it doesn't add up to what my experience was with, uh, with MD. They were on top of things. They're on their game. They watch what's happening. They want to see everything. And so the fact that they would have let something that big slip by if that's in fact what happened would be very very hard to believe based on how they run their shop in summer 2020 mde observed speedy growth in the number of community sites sponsored by feeding our future as well as the exponential increase in meal reimbursement rate the amount of federal money going through the local nonprofit skyrocketed from 3.4 million dollars in 2019 to roughly $200 million in 2021. The Department of Education moved to immediately terminate the nonprofit and issued a pay stop, but Feeding Our Future sued MDE. On April 21st, 2021, a judge told MDE that it did not have the authority to stop payment to Feeding Our Future and needed to continue paying Feeding Our Future claims. 
on April 2021 is also when MDE began working with the FBI. The Department of Education is currently not under investigation. The U.S. Attorney's Office told Alpha News they are not providing additional comment regarding whether there will be a grand jury for the case. So the win. So the win for If you are somebody who has a conscience or a person who has any dignity, they would not do something like this. Afraid of repercussions for speaking out in the Twin Cities, Abdi went on a trip to Africa early this year. When he got there, he says he was attacked and pepper sprayed for information he put online regarding feeding our future. Abdi says he reported it to the government and was placed under protection. Despite the backlash, Abdi says he remains focused on getting justice. In my country, there was not a lot of respect for disabled persons or weak people. And so because of how I was welcomed and how I've been treated in the United States, it's my duty to respect the welcome I got and to protect this country.